Hello, YouTube! I'm Pimstar, and this is Two Point Hospital Strategy and Tactics Quick Tip. So, in today's episode, we are going to round out the last of our staff focuses by taking a look at assistance, the ever humble assistant. Um, now, there are um, you know, three flavors that we uh, that I like to build my assistants in. Uh, so, let's take a look, shall we? Uh, the first, uh, the first flavor is probably the simplest, the marketer. Um, and as you can see from these two, uh, you want them at marketing five. Um, the, uh, and I usually do two of them per marketing room, as you can see here. I also like to deck them out in the purple outfit. It makes them all look, look all fancy, like they're from the marketing department. Um, but yeah, these guys can be rather, um, uh, these guys can be rather potent with whatever campaign you uh, run, especially when you um, uh, when you run them for um, uh, when, when they're this highly skilled. Um, you know, firing up, for example, a nurse campaign here. If we were to wipe out all of our nurses, look how fast this is. That's that's the power of a power. That's the power of a uh, a good marketing department there. Um, so yeah, that's all you really need to know about the, um, um, about these guys. Now, as far as the other types of, uh, assistance, um, the, um, the, the stock standard one is obviously just to give them pure, uh, customer service skill. That's, that's all they really need, and they just make customers happy whenever they interact with them, be it, uh, greeting them at reception or when they are manning one of the, uh, different, um, booths here. Um, and as far as how many of these regular people uh, that we want, uh, basically one assistant for every um, reception chair or freestanding reception desk, plus uh, one for every one of these little gift shoppy type booths that you want, plus one. Easy enough. However, that plus one is not going to be built exactly the same way uh, as some of the others. Uh, and this is what I like to call our cross trainer. So if you recall from my other videos, um, we have staff that um, uh, specifically ward nurses and um, uh, surgery uh, surgeons both like to have the stamina training uh, thing. So a way to sort of help uh, cross train your staff is by having one, exactly one of your staff be given the stamina training and also the training master class skill. Uh, and then you can do the rest as uh, customer service. That way, when you need to train up your surgeons or your ward nurses, they can actually um, be trained by an assistant. So you're not taking another surgeon or ward nurse off the floor to do the training. Um, and with the training masterclass, it goes all the faster. And if you're training up some newbie assistants, they can impart some knowledge on some basic customer service as well. So that is, uh, I would recommend making one, exactly one of your assistants, this. Uh, maybe give them, I don't know, a lemon uh, outfit, just to, to help set them apart. So that, my friends, is the assistance. You're not gonna you're not gonna win and lose hospitals by the uh, way you train your assistants, but it certainly helps. And if you have some patients that have been waiting around a while and they finally make their way to say a gift shop, having a highly skilled assistant can turn that frown upside down. Um, so if you guys like this episode and you want to see more like it, go ahead and hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and leave me a comment, good, bad, or indifferent. Your feedback is always welcome. So until next time, this has been Pinstar, signing out. See ya!